Third time in six months? So I Less? Third time in like three months? Yeah, something like that. So when you were writing the back six, you know, how intense did it get in the writing process, especially in the writer's room? Because oh, we, we fist fights every day. We beat the shit out of each other. Who's the best boxer? <laughs> That's a good question. It's Nora and Lilla, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. Um, I don't know how intense it got. I mean, the show is intense. Obviously, the writing process is. We're not really in the heightened stakes and environment that they are. But um, no, we had a lot of discussion, a lot of talks about what to do, how to handle things, what path to take. It was very hard. And usually, by the time we're doing episode 11, I don't remember where we were when we talked, but we're scrambling a little bit because we don't have a lot of time. We've just raced to the finish line on 10 to get those last few episodes like ready for air. So, you know, it gets heated. Uh, uh, we're under the gun, is what I should say, rather than heated. Um, but it's also really fun, and hopefully we uh, did a good job. So you're already renewed for season six, and you just, you know, you just did, you had done the plot line that everyone thought was going to be the end of the show. So are you thinking Endgame now, or are you just like, at this point now, the show can always keep going? I don't know if I, it's sort of something in between. Um, I'm not thinking Endgame. I don't know that I'll ever think end game until I know it's the end, or until I get to a point where I think it needs to be the end, and we need to drive the barn door. Um, so we're just trying to we're just trying to see if we can do a satisfying, tell a satisfying story after the consequences of five sixteen, which people have yet to see. I think we I'm hoping we have come up with something good, um, and then we'll just take it one step at a time. After that, I mean, the one thing I know is this: these people's lives. Were continue no matter what. Like, we don't literally agree with a nuclear bomb go off. So, if we can make that exciting, show the team going. Um, who, where is everyone's motivation right now? Is it all focused on Mike, or is it more about, like, are there certain characters who, like, they'll throw Mike down Mike the river if it means they'll save the firm? Like, if Jessica can save the firm, if it means letting Mike go, is she okay with that? Or Lewis for that matter? Um, I will say, in these back six, all of the characters kind of wrestle with it. And, if you, you know, not to spoil 5.11, so for something we would be asked like 5.11, yeah, yeah. like, we understand that Nina Gibbs doesn't want the dealer, she wants the supplier, so to speak. So, even if Mike were to plead guilty, and Nina Gibbs would use that to go answer Harvey and Jessica because she thinks they know what went on, or at least Harvey, maybe Lewis. So, it's kind of like uh, Jessica isn't in much of a position to throw Mike under the bus or uh, on the river to save herself. It's more Mike in that position. And he doesn't obviously want to, he doesn't want to get off Scott free at the expense of someone else. So that's a lot of the tension of the back six. What was the development of Anita Gibbs like in the script writing phase? It's hard for me to 100% remember, but I think the writers in general, and the in particular, wanted a, 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 a woman. Um, and I think they initially wanted it to be patterned after, I think, the woman prosecutor from Baltimore. Um, I personally, and, and they also thought about it, we're a diverse name. And my feeling has always been on all of those things, let's open up auditions. I don't care age, gender, race, whoever's good, let's hire that person. We had a number of auditions, and ultimately we landed on Leslie Hope, who actually did an audition. She just had a reel, but I, I wasn't that familiar with her. And I saw her, and I was like, this one just awesome. Then it was more than one of them to have a strength. Yeah. 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 And we wanted somebody that was different than we've seen before, different from you know, uh, Neil McDonough, you know, Kay Hill, Woodall, or Cameron Dennis, or Travis uh, uh, Tanner. So I think we were very successful with Leslie. Going, bringing in a, a very major new character this late in the game, was there a reason you did that? Is that why you did it instead of going, like, why? Because you're thinking about, like, why wouldn't Cahill, like, prosecute this, for example? Uh, well, some of it is uh, uh, Neil McDonough is on another show, so we wouldn't have had availability uh, of him in those last six. But other than that, it's like Cahill might have done it. But in the whole world, what are the odds that Cahill is the one that receives?
use this tip and wants to go after Mike. I think in real life it will probably be somebody new. So some of it is a desire to always infuse new blood. Some of it is availability. In this case, we couldn't even consider him because he would have been on the bill. We didn't even have to go through it. I think if we had gone through it, you know, it's like, um, we likely would have landed on, would it really be him? And, uh, uh, probably wouldn't be, and we liked having someone to do it. Yes, we are about two and a half weeks into uh, season six, and we're uh, hopefully coming out with some good stuff. Thank you very much. Yep. Thanks.